I hate his music. Because I can, I can just tell instantly it's one of his pieces of music. I know exactly what it's going to do when it's going to do the <laughs> bits that he has in every single one of his songs. <laughs> Welcome to the Worst Premier Podcast. Uh, today, I are joined by Jake. I are joined by... I are joined, <laughs> I joined by... I are joined by... This week, I are be mostly joined <laughs> by... This is pirate episode! Big <laughs> and he's pointing to his, like... I don't know what side you're pointing to, but Jake's on the opposite side from me. Oh, for yeah, me, he's and, right here. And the so windows good. change all the time, so... <laughs> so... No, it's a podcast. It's not meant to be seen. Yeah, it's yeah, true, anyway. yeah. And it's just pointed over his right shoulder. Uh, uh, yeah. He pointed to the... Uh, it's my left. Basically, pro- my left. Oh, okay, right. You're left. Okay, fine. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I are Jake. <laughs> Gabby? You are. Who are me, lover? <laughs> Kath? I are. And a, uh, a new site, because Alex is currently dying a million deaths. We have Nick. Arr, g'day, my name is Nick, and I certainly didn't poison Alex's drink. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get onto the podcast. And that is how a Kiwi does a pirate accent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New Zealand pirates are like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you yes. are. It's <laughs> 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 somehow quite nasal at the same time. <laughs> you, you, you love her. It's like if a little old lady was a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh. She likes orange slices. So you don't <laughs> <laughs> like a cup of tea and a digestive biscuit. <laughs> so Nick has very, uh, very kindly stepped in for Alex this week as he is, yeah, as I was mentioned, definitely dying. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should yeah. come up with some hacks for Alex to get over his hay fever faster. And, oh yeah. Uh, well, I thought like because I suffer really badly from hay fever, mm. and uh, I, then I thought like, oh, Same. maybe he's like drying his clothes outside uh, when he does the wash, and then they get like like caked pollen. in pollen and then he's uh, wearing them inside that's legit a thing because he's like oh, oh don't leave because he like you know doesn't leave the house a huge amount so he's not the pollen's not coming in from anywhere you know by, by huge amount do you mean like not at all <laughs> listen I don't know how much <laughs> he goes to house. the gym oh he does go to the gym that's right mm. but I bet you he drives and he takes out Albert for a walk <laughs> <laughs> mm. what's that supposed to mean we drive to the gym look at the, no, no, well, I'm, I'm trying to make Alex into the biggest like internal goblin I possibly can. Oh, I see. Okay, right, okay. cool. <laughs> well, I was going to say, well, like, is this he's just a to... bash on Alex episode? Yeah, now that of course he's not, not here. here. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, it's a good thing he's not pool here. Pisser. Easy pickings. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. Pool no, pissing, hay-fevering wanker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sniffy little shit. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we love, love you, Alex, if you're listening to um, us. Sorry. All right, well, I, I, I got an idea. Right. Cut Go his sinuses out. Uh, cut his sinuses yep. out. Surgically remove the sinuses. Jesus. Replace his sinuses <laughs> with ball bags. Yes. I was going to just like be like, oh, should we just give him like a space helmet? But sure, we'll just like gorge his <laughs> body. You know what I reckon we should do? <laughs> we should like counter. So this is what we do. We counteract it by extreme exposure. So we shove his orifices <laughs> full of flowers. Wow. Right? Oh, okay. And so yeah. there's, there's Until flowers. Until he just gets used to it and just it, doesn't deal with it anymore. Yeah. And then there's flowers just coming out of his nose. So when he inhales the pollen he's actually pollinating oh, oh i see you see what i mean yeah yeah but that I, um, also means because he farts so much he's going to be pollinating that way as well God. <laughs> at least it's doing good yeah yeah he does fat a lot he could experience he might kill the flowers off mate they yeah. might become completely inert <laughs> yeah. the, the pressure of pollen in that anus is going to be uh yeah something to behold never <laughs> thought i'd say that but there you go <laughs> i'm just which beats. biology classes you guys took at the fact that where you <laughs> s- breathe in like pollen and then it somehow magically makes it through your lungs down your digestive tract and then into your bowels no she said that stuff is orifices an anus is an orifice i thought she said nose i think i said orifices oh. orifices orifices <laughs> Orifice. Or- anus is an orifice. It's or- the new or- ca- memoirs by Kath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> memoirs by Kath. <laughs> um, I not? remember once I uh, I actually used hay fever to get out of a day, day's work once because <laughs> like <laughs> I remember I was working on my uh, my uh, grandparents like estate once because I was doing the gardening for them and I was like oh I really don't want to like work today oh god this is really bad so like I basically grabbed like a handful of like wheat right and then uh, <laughs> I like like ground it up in my hands mm. and then I just went like this. <laughs> 
and then like, rubbed it all over my face and stuff. What I was, the f- is I was, wrong with you? I was, I was basically you masochist. I was basically dying anyway from like hay fever, and I was like, oh, this fucking sucks. I'm either gonna have to just commit to being like overwhelmed by hay fever and carry on working, or go like the full hog and just mm-hmm. go fucking mental and be like, oh, oh, I can't work anymore. And yeah, it works. That's the most mental thing I've ever heard about trying to get out of work. No, that, that's not- I know. <laughs> That no, is that's, extreme. That's <laughs> works works yeah. smart, not harder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or not yeah. at all. That also works. But you definitely <laughs> made it harder on yourself, you fucking ninny. I know. Yeah. Well, what kind good. of f*** wit who has horrible hay fever becomes a gardener? Like, w- at what point were you like, this is an option for <laughs> that me is in a my valid career? Point. Like, well, yeah. It wasn't really, wasn't really gardening, it was more of a landscaper. Like, I, was, I was like, the, uh, basically had the, the... And what, that's like being allergic to coffee and becoming a barista. Yeah, but uh, yeah. unfortunately, Jay, being a landscaper doesn't, doesn't make it any better than being, not well, being I, a gardener. I, need, like. I needed money, didn't I? I was gonna buy a guitar ramp. I had to fund that somehow. So yeah, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah I mean, and I didn't end up buying it in the end because I thought, oh, that was a lot of work to get that. I'll just stick with what I've got. <laughs> so, yeah. Aww. 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 What did you get in the end? Did you get anything? Uh, probably just spent it on alcohol. Yeah, that's better. I'll piss it away on alcohol. It was it was to kind of fund uni as well because like, I basically didn't work like so dr- buy alcohol. Well, yeah, and food amongst. I didn't drink a huge amount when I when I wasn't going out at uni. So. That, then that was like mm. three nights a week so uh, yeah actually i take it back god <laughs> i remember the absolute rampages we would go on at uni with alcohol it was just yep. like i wanted to die yeah. apparently you know <laughs> yeah. like I nowadays it's like i can drink a glass or two completely reasonable amount i remember used to going to the doctors once i've been like they're like, yeah. how much do you consume per week? And I'm just like... <laughs> Having to lie on the form. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, they go like, oh, do, you know, like, do you have um, like one or two glasses? And it's just like, well, I don't drink throughout the week normally because I'm at or... uni. But on the weekend, I fucking slam it. Like, you should know that because I'm at university. And I was baffled by the idea that people just had like a glass... That'll do me. That's an option. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one glass of wine and I'm done. Okay. <laughs> do you not remember, like, at the towards the end of uh, I think one of the years that we had one of our friends was staying over as well, and we were all sort of like crunching. Mm. And I think it was from Monday to Sunday we had a drinking night every night because we were procrastinating <sighs> so much mm-hmm. that like by the end of that week I think we were just our bodies were ruined. They were oh, shutting no. down. We were like literally dr- like drunk each of these nights. Yeah. Oh my god. It was just we were trying. Like, to handle the stress <laughs> yeah. and like do you know what made it worse with our university is that you had to pay for everything mm. so like <clears throat> not only were you paying for the the degree in the first place but the uh because it was it was a graphic design degree mm. i don't know if i mentioned you what <laughs> yeah, nick oh, and i yeah. nick and i graphic designers mm. not just me <laughs> lumping you into this now nick <laughs> um we had to get all the materials so yeah. like if you wanted to build a book which you know you had to build an entire like brand uh what's Gutenberg the word press <laughs> yeah, you, like, yeah book press you had to get card different like Glue it thicknesses together. paper yeah. then you had to pay for the printing and none of that was included in a stock room at the university you had to mm. then drop fat cash on getting the materials to build the shit that you had it to do it was the same at my uni same as yeah. oh man it's pretty, pretty insane standard. As if they're not profiting enough yeah. just off you yeah. being there mm-hmm. and paying paying for their lecturers to get their salaries yeah. through, you know. I spent like a thousand New Zealand dollars on my last project for yeah. my oh course. God. So yeah. How much like, is that in GBP? Oh, uh, 500 pounds. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. Um, uh, Kath, on my, on my final project, I spent about the same. Did you? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the business thing that we did. Yeah, because we were hosting the gigs and whatnot. We had to hire out the venue and whatnot. Oh, oh yeah. And oh, you all, need to do that stuff. And we, so we had, I'd spend money on that. Oh, okay. Cool. So you guys actually had to do like performance stuff. That's interesting. Well, the, it was weird, our university course, because <coughs> like, instead of doing a dissertation, which is like fairly standard in literally every single university across every single course, I would mm-hmm. imagine, yeah. uh, the, <laughs> the slack-ass music tech course was um, you basically had to do a business plan and come up with a business. Well, that yeah. sounds well, about it, right. It's it not just that. It was, it was business plan, come up with a business, run said business, yeah. and yeah. then do a, <laughs> do a massive presentation on it at the end and show what you've learned and what you did. That and sounds what like you made. ours. It, oh, that that, that yeah. sounds a lot like ours because we had to do. Um, it was like, depending on what you wanted to do, it was called a, a 
capstone project Mm -hmm. which is basically like you could look into photography you could create a brand you could i don't know do advertising whatever you kind of wanted to specialize in you focused on and then you had to create that thing uh throw money into actually producing it then write up a massive bit of paper and do a presentation on it. So like yeah. the whole shebang. Yeah, we have, um, we have to do the full thing, a full, a full business business yeah. project basically. What I was made. Your, um, <laughs> what was your guys? Well, no, just okay. <laughs> to to this point. Um, <laughs> do you remember Nick? So I did mine. Uh-huh. I was I did a makeup brand yeah. that was focused around uh, bugs. Mm-hmm. So kind of like um, a lot of the photography was influenced by like um models wearing all their makeup and stuff but they were like had bugs all over their skin um and yeah and it was yeah. like it was intense <laughs> and the final presentation was basically just like uh had all my makeup kit in a glass terrarium filled with crickets yeah <laughs> live crickets live crickets that's and awesome it, well it was it got looks <laughs> but I remember the guy came to the house because I had to order a box of crickets online. And <laughs> like, I never thought I would do that. But like, you know, people use it for snakes, you know, like yeah, weird pets and so all like that, feed- frogs. Yeah. So I ordered these <laughs> box of crickets. And Nick, you answered the door, I, didn't you? I got it. Yeah, he was... Yeah, the postman was so, like, <laughs> weirded <laughs> out. Really? He was, he's like, here's a package. He's like, it's making some, like, noises. And, like, <laughs> I grabbed it and it was, like, vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's good, 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 good. <laughs> so good. Then I just took them into my room and I just stared at them and I was like, yep. Yep. <laughs> this is it. Live this is the one. That's so good. Yeah. So you guys obviously went to university together. Um, last because yeah. last week's episode we kind of went into how we met, etc. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Did we we touched on how you guys, how you and Gabby met, right? Oh, Nick? next sh- fucking yeah, drawing. my shitty drawing. Like I have to clear some air there. Oh, oh yeah. Do you feel like I? <laughs> yeah. To give myself some credit, <laughs> that was a speed drawing test. You always leave that fact out. We were supposed to <laughs> draw each other in five. Five minutes <laughs> oh. okay. and i'm already not a good drawer i'm a, like a digital i'm better at digital stuff yeah so she's like here brand like pretty much new drawer i barely drew it's like draw the person across from you in five minutes i was like oh god here's these new people i'm like come from like small town christchurch i'm not supposed <laughs> I'm to draw to this friends. girl across you i'm trying to make friends <laughs> it's a drawing of you sorry so you started your friendship with an apology about yeah. the yeah. house do you want to hang out forever? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. it was pretty much like that after yeah. that point. Um, <laughs> so, uh, come on, Nick. Spill the beans. Is there some horrendous stories about Gabby that we should know about? Oh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> that would God. be suitable ones that she out. hasn't already told us? The, no, oh, that's a good point. A yeah, lot. There's, there's probably not a... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the times it's like... Probably in Rautangi, which was like the, the flat that we lived at. Mm. We just call it Rautangi because that was this, like the street that, was, the that street it was on. Rautangi Road, Mount Eden. <laughs> yeah. Shout out. Shout big, out. Up, big massive yeah. to the yep. Mount Eden crew. <laughs> I mean, it's There's probably like that. three people in the world that be like, yeah, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're even listening, two of them are here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that does. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, I think it was probably just more about like the, the house itself was kind of really a real shithole. Like, the the bathroom window was falling off the paint oh was peeling God. off everywhere the oh, ceiling yeah. was collapsing in the bathroom it was really weird because yeah. like there was this there was basically the flat and for some reason the bathroom window was one of those ones that would just like fly kind of open yeah. there was no <laughs> thing that allowed you to connect no on or hook it on mm. there was no latch you would just it was either open or it was closed mm. during a storm one night the wind caught it flipped it and smashed it off just against the other side of the building. Wow. So all the moisture from outside and inside was getting in. So the whole top of the roof just started to peel and collapse in on itself. Oh my God. Um, and we'd like message the landlords as well, but they were fairly lax about literally everything. <laughs> they did not. Um, no. Laxes so we just were like, okay, black mold, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> black mold, so that was I choose cool. you. And like no underfloor like insulation either. So like in my bedroom, it was like a wooden floor and you could if you put your like hand close to the floor you could feel the draft 
coming up like a breeze coming up through the bottom. So I had to like yeah, lay cardboard all over oh, my floor. Oh, you had a cardboard insulate. floor? I had a cardboard oh, floor dude, and like a rug to insulate. That's yeah. so cracked in. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. That's what it was like. Um, yeah, the, there was the time like uh, in the apartment beforehand that we stayed in. Do you remember? Oh, it was yeah. what, Vault Apartments? Vault Apartments, yeah. yeah, that piece of shit hole. It was yeah. literally like a cupboard. Um, and wh- whose birthday was it? Or it was someone's and we just went in and the entire shower was just filled with balloons. <laughs> oh, that was my um, that was my 21st. And we just shoved balloons in the yeah. shower. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's a normal place to keep them. Oh, well, just... there's not much else room, so that's the, all we could do. <laughs> we had a party in the shower, that I was it. I lived in the bathroom, that was it. <laughs> yeah. We used to just like have these tiny, tiny little LAN parties in the yeah. living room that was about the size, honestly, about probably about twice the size of this room, Jake. It it's, is a small room for all those. Fu- I can it's touch like, both walls. Yeah, like, you, could, you, like, could, yeah. you could not swing a cat. Oh, hang on. No, what's the pizza idiot? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You could not swing a handbag in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever it is. That's not a leather handbag, I might yeah. point out. Yes. Yep. You may Both not swing handbag. a hemp made handbag in that room. <laughs> <laughs> That's been um. certifiedly picked by people who aren't, who aren't <laughs> children. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Peter approved. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, oh. it's. Um, um, it was very tiny. We used to just have like these these tiny, tiny little land parties, me and Nick playing games. Actually, you know what? Nick is the person to thank for getting me into playing games. Oh, there you go. Oh, good job, so mate. I grew up playing like uh, I grew up with video games. My brothers would play them. Um, I watched my friends play them, but I never really played myself. The first time I ever played a proper shooter, just just me doing my thing was when Nick got me to play Left 4 Dead. Yeah. <laughs> and this piece of shit, <laughs> this motherfucker. So you see him on you know, on the channel blowing stuffing up, like being a troll. That that was him. Just yeah. even when no one was watching, he was a dick. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just the two of us, he was. And I think what you were learning because you've been traumatized from your brother or something. Yeah, I don't it's know. it's yeah, it's um third child syndrome. Like you know, it just gotta. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta I get them. Before notice they get me. You. <laughs> Did you have anything like that, Alice? Like when you were growing up? Uh, no, no. Because I, I never. I, I barely knew my brothers. I still barely do. How? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you, do was you that a laugh moment or like a? Do we, oh, do we want to touch on that? Yeah. Oh no, it's actually fine. Like, uh, it's boarding school, isn't it? So, so the, did, they, go, did they? Yeah. Did they not go to boarding school? No. Then? Oh, no, they okay. went. To, they went to the local. They went to Warwick School. Um, when we, were, we were living in Leamington Spa at the time, so they went to Warwick School, which is um, it's about like thirty minutes away or something like that. So relatively close. So they get and the bus in every day, oh. and then and they're also five and seven years older as well. So oh, like okay. a decent oh, age right. gap on yeah, top yeah. of the yeah. fact that then from like 10 onwards I was in boarding school so you I don't spent want, three yeah. quarters of my year at school you don't want to play with your uh, five year old brother if you're like 17 and then no. oh no hang on if you're no, 12, 12. Yeah. <laughs> mm. or no, but, play with your five year old brother if so, you're 10 you know so I, I think up until I went to boarding school we've spent a fair bit of time together Yeah. but I just don't remember any of it because my memory from that back then is appalling. Well, your memory in general is appalling. I know, but, but stretching that far back, it's basically non-existent. I like, have like little fits and starts and that's it. Oh, um, right. But yeah, I, yeah, when you go to boarding school from for like seven, eight years, eight years, and you spend three quarters of your eight years at school and not at home. Yeah. Mm. And then your brothers go to university and you're still in school. Yeah, I guess you probably wouldn't like, see them, hey? Yeah, you, never, yeah. you just never see them. I don't know anyone who's gone to boarding school and not been fucked yeah. up by it. <laughs> Alice what will say it? that he hasn't. <laughs> well, no, no, it, it, it's it's it screwed up, but it screws up. It screws up what people consider a normal childhood. Yeah, right. But it also yeah. gives you one of the best educations, the biggest independent street you can possibly have. So mm. swings and roundabouts. I can mm. kind of relate with like being homeschooled for like the first, I think, like twelve years of my life, whereas yeah. like socially, like barely saw anyone apart from you know siblings. So like. It, you did become like more friends with your siblings but then it became hard to make friends anywhere else yeah mm. so like uh, what like i've always wondered like what boarding school was like is it like was it a uh, all boys or like a co-ed or no no it was just, uh, both mine were co-ed yeah mm. Mm. so you have like uh it, it works much the same as most other um other schools to be honest there's, there's only a couple of a couple of weird bits um 
So you know, like uh, I'm guessing you you had probably like ha- uh, when you were in high school, you had like houses or something like that. Yeah, like a way. Yeah. So in boarding school, houses are where you stay. Um, so there's a, ah. each each building is a house, and then you have uh, X amount. Say, I think at, at Malvern it was a hundred hundred and something students in that house, and mm. they'd all live there. And we had like eight houses. And like Hogwarts, multiple, but not. And, and you have and you have people from like the lowest year to the highest year all the way through mm-hmm. staying staying at the house. Are you guys oh. resentful at all about <clears throat> being homeschooled and or boarding school? Mm. And this definitely is bit of both. Yeah. Mm. What about you? Um, Maybe resentful is not the right word, but wistful, you know? Not re- yeah, not resentful. I I think I would probably, yeah, I would be a completely different person. I think if I went to primary school, um, mm-hmm. I came into school at what was New Zealand's version of year eight. So I was like yeah. Quite late. 12. Yeah. Uh, so I was already like, you know, developing or going through that process. So I was glad that I went in at that stage because my brother went in at year 11 Mm-hmm. Since that's 16. Oh, that must have been hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm not too resentful because I went through more of those kind of teenage developing mm-hmm. years in high school. So yeah. I think I was quite mm-hmm. lucky for that, that my like parents finally put me into school then. Mm. Mm. I can imagine if I was I any think... later, I might have had some trouble. Yeah. yeah. I think from what I remember, university for both of us was a big developmental mm. thing. Huge. But like, I think we we balanced each other out when we met one another in ways that we both needed. Yeah. You know? And it was so funny because like back in university i was and pre-university really due to life circumstances beyond my control that were pretty heavy um i was off the rails i went through (laughs) nick's smiling because he's just like it's more than that gabby (laughs) (laughs) you were a fucking mess the rails were destroyed okay like there were no rails so basically i had um a a friend had passed away right Mm. You know, and there was a lot of grief. There was a lot of everything. There was, it was just such a turbulent time. Mm. And I was just drinking like nonstop. Mm. I was just not in a good space. And I was about 18. And so I, and with undiagnosed, that I now know ADHD, um, was starting stopping universities you know i went to do fine arts and then i was like lol what the fuck am i doing i'm gonna stop so then i stopped doing fine arts went to do sociology psychology anthropology and then i was like this is boring as fuck because there's no output there was no making things it was just writing and writing tap the fuck out of that and then went to do graphic design and then met nick mm-hmm. um and when i met nick i was like <laughs> You know, I was, just, I was drinking all the time. I was just out and about. I was getting crazy. And Nick had been pretty much homeschooled his whole yeah. life. Coming from this, like, relatively sheltered background. Like, what the like, fuck is this woman? Ex- <laughs> you're exposed to, like, an extreme version of the yeah. world. Like, yeah, ah! Yeah. Yeah, so, it like, was. In, in a way, and correct me if you think otherwise, Nick, but, like, if I was here and Nick was here, we kind of, yeah, so, you know. Gabby brought you up and Nick brought you down yeah in terms of like uh craziness (laughs) my my judgmental homeschooling nature helped to bring her down (laughs) (laughs) and then her bullshitness helped my judgmentalness to go away yeah yeah. there was a bit of like this is what the real world is like yeah and then there was a bit of like okay well it's not all as bad as you think it is and Mm. i was just like okay and so that kind of evened out so like it yeah I think, like, at the, the right place at the right time, Nick was, like, a very important person to me in my life. So, oh, yeah. Didn't Aww. mean to... Don't, don't, shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> we can um, celebrate that. That's good. Yeah, so that's yeah, kind of the history. It's like a 2.0 of last week. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Um, a yeah. little follow-up. Yeah. Unless and you have rest, any... They say is history. Well, Ooh. there's... <laughs> Armpit hair. Sorry, <laughs> I did see that. I was like, "What? Well, there it is!" <laughs> wow. I've got these. That was a lot of fluff. Yeah, just you know, I'm very manly. How so many cats uh, you hiding under there, mate? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't Kick like a net something out of that for you. <laughs> I probably could. I made this, so I could probably make something there you out go. of it. Oh, do you reckon you could make me like a top out of my armpit? Oh. Yeah, I reckon I could. You have to sterilise it first. I ain't touching your no sweaty race. grossness. Oh. Okay, fair if enough. If you think I'm having Jake's armpit hair in this house, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> You'd have to like shave it off every like uh, like four months or something and just keep it a stockpile of it coming for you to... Oh. 
I'm, I'm okay. I, I rescind the offer. He's about to throw up. <laughs> it's far too fucking early to I'm talk about storing Jake's fucking armpit hair. <laughs> when we come down for Kath's birthday, I'll just sprinkle a little bit of Jake's armpit hair on your pillow sheet and just like mm. leave it. Oh, oh, don't. <laughs> no. That's horrific. It's like the most cursed version of the tooth fairy. Oh, you know what I mean? With the guy with salt. Armpit hair fairy. But it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit of salt bait. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Yum. Um, Yum. Yeah, I've got, I've got these new muscle vests because uh, I'm uh, I'm a muscly boy now. No, I'm not. You've really. Got muscles now. Yeah, um, yeah just because it's very really flipping hot, and I'm just getting sick of uh, wearing heavy cotton t-shirts. So I went well, for you're a trying to one. get muscles. Yeah, I am trying to get. Well, yeah, I am. I am trying just, and failing. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's, uh, so much harder than what you think. Oh, like, it's so it hard. Is. We're, we're trying to figure out because ever since so we told you ages ago on the stream you know we've gone to the gym and stuff like that and jake and i are both trying to get into weightlifting i mean i suppose you already are jake yeah i mean when we say weightlifting we're not going to be participating in competitions Speak we're not for going yourself <laughs> oh, so, oh yeah that's a good point are you going yeah okay I'm not going to be participating in weightlifting competitions or bodybuilding competitions. I just want to be uh, basically get rid of my body fat and look a bit lean. That's all. That's the goal, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and just that is actually really fucking difficult. Mm, it is. Yeah. Uh, I know. Especially if you've been, uh, if you have a sedentary lifestyle like we do, kind of sat down a lot of the time in front mm -hmm. of the computers. Um, additionally, also diet is what like diet is like half the battle to, mm -hmm. yeah. to that mm -hmm. goal. Yep. Also Huge. very difficult. Particularly yeah. if you've got a busy lifestyle. Oh, like and do. like, I just want to talk about this really quickly because it's been a pain <laughs> in my fucking arse, right? <laughs> so I'm going to long story short this, right? Mm -hmm. Long story short, for TLDR people listening the shit out of it. at Go home, on. I have a thing called PCOS, which stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome, right? It's a bit misleading because it normally doesn't actually have anything to do with your ovaries. Sometimes it does. It's more about a metabolic issue. So I have what is a baseline level of insulin resistance. Not diabetic, hashtag yet. <laughs> it just means that I can't process stuff the way most people would. That's it. So getting to my point, one of the best things you can do for that is to gain muscle. Because if you have more muscle, it increases your insulin sensitivity, meaning you can digest your food better, right? I cannot consume anywhere near the amount of protein that I need per day to fucking combat that and build the muscle that I need. And not only that, but because of this issue, the doctors told me I need to be gluten-free and dairy-free. And at the same time, Jake is currently a vegan. What can we <laughs> eat in our household? Somebody tell me well, what the fuck we can eat. Just like <laughs> dust and eat. farts, pretty much. Yeah, go and just, just go and buy trays of tofu. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's tofu. Yeah. Vegetables, uh, uh, gluten-free bread, a tofu, tofu, mushrooms. Mushrooms are super heavy in protein. Chickpeas. Yeah, yeah, yeah we chickpeas. had a chickpea yeah, curry yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah. So yeah. basically, a really good way to do it is just go to ChatGPT and ask, like, give me some, give me <laughs> like, just give me some recipes with measurements for like gluten-free vegan, and, many, and mm. it just spits out a load of stuff, and it's been really, really helpful. Yeah. yeah. Um, our friend Tess, who's staying with us at the moment, has been uh, helping us out with the cooking and stuff, and just like prepping. Oh my god. Prepping meals. It's uh, been a lifesaver. I didn't realize it because it was just like. At the moment, she's kind of here just to like travel and stuff. So we're like, cool, bank, like, you know, charge you for rent. But she's been like, cool, as payment. I'm going to make you guys dinners and stuff like that. So mm. she's just nice. been like bulk cooking for us. And I cannot stress to you. Like, I, I come down after a stream or after like a podcast recording, lunch is there. And I'm like, I don't even have to like think about this. The mental space that is taken <laughs> up is gone. And it's, it fills all the requirements. And then I get back to work mm. because my full day is just like back to back. You know, mm. I mean, I'm like a little eat. housemate. Oh, I, wait, don't, yeah. I don't have to think about it. Yeah, I won't have insulin resistance if there's nothing to be resistance yeah. against. Basically, if you, yeah, if you want to lose weight, just don't eat anything. Yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't have to be picky about your diet if you don't eat. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Doesn't matter what your dietary requirements are if you don't have a diet. Yeah. I generally yeah. have one meal a day, to be honest. Logic. You only have one meal a day. <laughs> yeah. Dinner and, dinner and a sandwich, that's about it. Dinner and a sandwich. Is a sandwich, it like a big sandwich in or? between like around like one, two, and then dinner, and that's it. Far out, man. How big is a dinner usually? Uh, I guess like Just a grand a and a half calories. Dinner. So how, how many right. calories, sorry? Grand and a half? No, it's a gra not. A gra Nowhere near. That's all. You eat the same amount as me. Meal. You eat usually for dinners, it's about the same. We're usually around the 500 to 700 yeah. mark. Holy shit, dude. You're That's... on like a huge calorie deficit. <laughs> How long have you been eating like that for? <laughs> uh, years. All his life. 
Are you oh. sure that uh, how? Okay, but you do eat a whole pack of biscuits in one go. Yeah, uh, does, uh, yeah. not every day though. How often per week? <laughs> like three times a week, I'd say. At most, yeah. Oh, so okay. it's like less that you're getting your daily intake of calories, but more like your weekly, yeah. purely <laughs> made up of a foundation <laughs> of biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> much, yeah, purely made up of a foundation just, of rich cheese and just don't get all that hungry, to be honest. Oh, fair enough. Look, if, if you're here okay. and you're alive and you've been eating the same thing same for like yeah. three years, it's obviously also, not doing I, I, Kat, I think you vastly underestimate you. the calorie count of some of our, some of our dinners. Some of them are <laughs> fucking enormous. <laughs> really? We have, we yeah, have mostly bowls. vegetables. We, we have, it doesn't matter. We have bowls that are like, I don't know, like the size of <laughs> your <fruit> lap. Bowl. <laughs> you do realise yeah. that you can have like 400 grams of mushrooms or something like 100 calories. Yeah, but it's still a lot of stuff. I think it also matters what you cook it in too, right? Because yeah. oil adds yeah, huge yeah, yeah. amounts of like, Or so. Or so. Or so. Or so. Also, if you're using sauces, teriyaki sauce, that, oh, I mean, yeah. that, it, that's so hidden for calories. I don't do yeah. sauces. No, we well, don't use the You what don't do sauce? At what? all. But do you just have it what dry? Is what dry? <laughs> what the fuck, my guy? No, I don't, I don't that. add sauces onto stuff in general. God, it makes so much sense. Oh, <laughs> the sauce like is the <laughs> the sauce is the, uh, is the thing that adds all the flavour though. He like. takes the piss out of me for using a lot of different sources and well, stuff. No, like no. We have a fridge, the side of the fridge, yeah, where you put the milk and Here stuff, right? Yeah. There is, there is. Here we go. We got the, we got the, the thing where all the, all the milk and everything is. Then another thing, yeah. and then another thing above that. So it's a three tier, three yeah. tier thing. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have one carton of milk in the far right hand side, <laughs> right? <laughs> And then top left, we have a little slime of like 10 eggs. Right. The rest of it is fucking condiments. I love that. It's just I, insane. Thank you. Yeah. That, we're exactly the same. We've got three different bottles of burger sauce in our fridge. And like chutneys well, and pickles noodle. coming out the ass. And, yeah. It's, just, it's insane. I don't get it. Yeah, Ellis is the kind of Ellis. person who thinks drinking water is excessive. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah. like anything extra to life that is just like oh, a bit of niceness. He's yeah. like, get away from me, Satan! I do, I do like. Yeah, him and his I... mum just take the piss out of me all the time. They're like, look at the fridge! You can't put anything in it! It's you can't. Got sauce! The fucking oh, fridge cow. door is just taken up with sodding condiments and new ones <laughs> just constantly appear. The, the, the issue is not the fact that it's full of condiments. The issue is that she buys more before finishing the ones she already has. But like, that are they different? Insane. Are they different flavours? Because I, no, I understand. Not really. Yes, they are. How many different versions of a white fucking sauce can you have? <laughs> many. Oh, so they all many. taste the bloody same. No, they, they don't. don't. Oh. <laughs> to you. To you who doesn't like sauce. I don't like understand sauce. how much you can be such like an analyst over wine flavors and like and then when it comes to sauces or different <laughs> condiments they're all the same so when he's on about white mad. sauces he's referring to things like ranch mayo um oh they are kind all of different. like seasoned oh, dressing those, friends, those all are of those completely sorts different things. and he's like oh, it's, white sauce it's it's a joke <laughs> i know they're different you're a joke get better <laughs> educate um, yourself on sauces son. I, I, i'm just i'm just putting this out there for everyone in, uh, who is going to be fucking Hammering away in the corner, like, ah, you get all the sauces are different. Ah! <laughs> the, I do know, I do know they are different. I am being, exa I'm exaggerating. Okay. The shape oh of your God. mouth just then was something I've never seen before. <laughs> That's like, the thumbnail meme. pick right it's there. Like, it's like the, yeah. the, the angry meme face, though. Yeah. <laughs> There's your Thank thumbnail. Thank you. Name. That's the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. Mark that down. <laughs> It's so good. Um, it's so bad. But yeah. I really like doing this channel <laughs> with 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 you, especially Alice, because like it, it's a it's a frequency. so easy to wind him up on there so is, many random things that just, you don't expect. Yeah, I, ha I have bugbears. It's probably about <laughs> I one blame about condiments. One... <laughs> it's weird. It, no, it's about you not finishing your fucking condiments and then buying more. It's such a waste. Well, no, okay. But I still use them up. Not I always. Just well, them. We, what, I swear to God, we had some fucking barbecue <laughs> sauce in there that we had had in the, in the old place, but after we moved, that had been in the fridge for a year and a half. <laughs> My guy, you do realise that we finished that barbecue sauce and replaced it like three times. I found one that was in, that had been in there for a year and a half. Uh, oh, okay, what about the four <laughs> things of mayo that you bought every single month that slally but surely built up in the cupboard underneath the uh, with all the tins? Well, I haven't bought 
got mail for a while now. We've I don't think I fucking pointed out that you bought. <laughs> we had three kilos of mayo. <laughs> uh, I I am on board with that. When Millie, when Millie and I, Thank my wife, man. go to the supermarket, three we'll buy like kilos. I think like four to five bottles of tomato sauce, four to five bottles of mayo, and we just like stock them in the cupboard, and they are there for like <laughs> we're stocked for like the week. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> that, that's fine yes. if you use it a lot, but it's just me and Kath, and I don't use it. It's, it's just, just Nick and Billy. <laughs> it's just one other person. There is a cultural <laughs> thing I've noticed in this country that, like, I'm, I am, I don't mind mayo, but I was baffled when I got here and I say ordered a bowl of chips, right, or fries, depending on where mm. you're from, and rather than just giving me a tub of ketchup or the, the standard go-to that you would normally have with chips, they gave me a little tub of mayo. That is standard. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's in, not for anywhere, the rest of the world. Yeah, I, don't know, it's, UK, it's not. I think it's the UK and Belgians, and no, that's about no, it. The entirety of Europe. For, most, I've never seen it before in my life. I, like, I've, I mean, I've, I've had it in France, I've had it in Spain, I've had it in uh, Netherlands, and I've had it here, and in, and in Ireland. Yeah. Maybe it's a European thing then. Maybe. I, think, I think it's a European thing. Because hmm. the alternative that they used to give you out in uh, New Zealand was aioli. So oh, it wasn't, mm, it was like, yes, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I can't have that anymore. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. yeah. So high it's in full calories. full of eggs. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Which like was fine. It's like but, fancy mayo. But with garlic. Yeah. yeah. I, I've tried the uh, vegan mayonnaise. Holy shit. It's oh. terrible. It is so bad. Yeah. It's like, it's like drinking paint What's thinner and vinegar. What's it made of? <laughs> paint thinner and vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's baffled me. Just like sometimes I'll go into a place, they'll just give me mayo and I'm like, hey, excuse me, can I just have some ketchup? And they're like, look at me as if I'm like, a, you're a pain in my ass. <laughs> have you what, have, ketchup? <laughs> unheard of. <laughs> have you guys ever like left a like a dollop of mayo on a plate after and left it overnight? Oh yeah, uh, and it like hmm. goes. Oh yeah, orangey. it's so horrible. It goes like like semi translucent. Yeah, yeah. Or I deal with it's it every like... single day because <laughs> the condiment whore above me constantly leaves a shitload of her condiment, condiment left whore. over. So I am seen, your wife. I have bitch. seen just about every single condiment under the sun after a couple of days that has hardened onto a plate, and some and of them the, go real nasty. I'll what's tell the you worst that. one you've seen? Because mayo looks like fuck. Mayo looks terrible. Uh, it's like a trans lucent like jelly mess which is just fat okay there was there was one I'm not sure which one it was but it, it was it had some chunks in it oh and it went it, like it went black Ooh, <laughs> ew. it was it was like black oh with, like, no you know what chunks. that actually was alice what is that it's just where um avocado oxidizes so no, no, i no, made no, guacamole no, 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 no. this was a and it was just a sauce. like the, it was a sauce. It, was, it wasn't guac. Was it like a no. salsa? No, no, because that, that gets brown rather than um, rather than. It can go black if you leave it out for mm. like a day. No, it was, it was it was one of your like odd sauces that I've never heard of before, which you bought from some particular <laughs> company that no one else buys <laughs> yeah. other than you. One of those weird fucking sauces. What is it? Yeah. Ketchup or something. Well, there's oh. a freak, like when I came over here, right? In New Zealand, they'll do pizza, <clears> and if you ask for like a sauce on it, let's say you want a barbecue swirl, they'll just give you a little swirl on top. Mm. A reasonable amount. Bullshit. Bullshit? You've got to be more sauce. Got to have so much more sauce. I'm not you surprised. You want more if, sauce? I'm not more surprised sauce. if someone coming that buys four bottles a week of both. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be well, sure that it ran out. What baffled me was coming over here and then in Domino's, they give you like a tub of sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah. To mm. dip your pizza into. And I've watched Jake. Like, it genuinely makes me feel sick, right? I, I, don't get me wrong. I love an unhealthy meal. Just watching me, Jesus. But I've watched Jake have a pepperoni pizza that is like dripping with oil. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Thick cheese cheese, mm. thick mm. cheesy crust, Shit, yeah. cheese yeah. everywhere, mm. yeah. dip it into mayonnaise because there's not enough oil, <laughs> and then I'm eat it. on this. It's yeah. fucking fit. Oh, it it, it, it makes bad. me, like, just the sheer amount of oil that is on that pizza. Yum. Garlic oh. and herb dip from Domino's oh, I, uh, Gabby, is like crack. <laughs> It I'm, was too much. And I mean, I'm I'm in the middle here. Like, Ellis hates butter. He hates cheese. I do like to participate in a bit of dairy, even though I'm not allowed. You know, I, I do like it sometimes. Mm. But, like, when you pick up a slice of pizza <laughs> and it's wet, uh, like, yeah. I, I, I can't do it. The wetter, the better. Uh, yeah. I, feel, I feel like I need to, uh, I, I need to clarify it's something here. Slide. Okay, go on then. I, I, I spoke to Kath about this a couple of days ago. 
I don't actually hate cheese. Oh, okay. I, I'm, just, I'm just not. I'm just not. <laughs> no I just don't like, like it. No one was like, you know, like uh, persecuting you for like. For no, no, not no, no, no. But, but I, I, I just, just, just thought I'd sort of reiterate this that people are going to think I've got a weird diet. Or something. It's, it's not that I hate it. It's not like a. I'm not like a fucking militant anti-cheesist or something. Yeah. I just don't like it. Okay, but I, if it's like if it was starving or, or eating cheese, cheese death <laughs> i will eat cheese if it's starving or goat's cheese i'm committing seppuku <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but goat's cheese is but nice f- like, no, f- goat, no, no, no. God, it's that actually like it curdles my stomach i i agree with the goat's cheese thing i like I being on the cheese. farm like goat's cheese i feel like Goat's cheese smells like an actual goat smells. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it smells horrible. Yeah, and like, yeah. I smell like, I feel like I'm just right there with the goat and it's horrible. I yeah. suppose it's that's weird. like a, an association thing though. Yeah. yeah. But like, if you have like a spinach and feta, um, like phyllo roll, like a pastry, no, or like no. a, yeah. a spinach feta salad oh, with bacon bits or something. Like, it's good. And, um, no, because it's like, it's this, it like, it's smooth, but yet crumbly. It's like, it's just, it makes no <laughs> sense. It's horrible. It's, it's like, uh, I always I always call it like, it's like devil's, devil's spunk. <laughs> Hardened demon devil's spunk. Like oh, cottage oh, cheese. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I had what was, I had um, mac and cheese. It's mac and cheese is my treat to myself when we leave the house because it's all the things that I can't have. So mm. if we're going to go to like a restaurant, I'm like, hey, hey, every, yeah. time, every time, <laughs> every time I've been at a restaurant with Gabby, it's always the mac and cheese. It's always yeah. the mac. Or I carbonara. fucking love mac and oh, cheese, yeah. but I can't yeah. eat it. <clears throat> but no, but yeah, that's the thing. Well, I mean, can you physically not have it at all? If I want to shit for four days, then maybe, but right. Um, okay. You totally know. worth Basically, it. Basically, there's no point <laughs> in me having it because within about half an hour, the rest of the day's ruined. I need yeah. to go defecate forever like yeah. you know mm-hmm. it's like an yeah. exorcism of my body yeah <laughs> for those who don't know i'm lactose intolerant yeah I, it's not just me having some weird thing with cheese i'm lactose intolerant yeah. so um that yeah like it's not good so- and also there's no point in me making it at home unless yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. ellis isn't here mm-hmm. yeah because if ellis is here then i need to make something separate for him yeah, because he yeah, won't eat sense. it. It's so, one of those things that, like, for me, I won't shit myself. It's more just that I have chronic inflammation. So it's trying to reduce that. I guess today we're talking about all of our chronic underlying issues, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it contributes to that level of inflammation. So if I'm going out for a treat, it's kind of that 80 20 split. Yeah. And, but except for when we went to Rome. And it was 100% carbonara all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was carbonara for breakfast, uh, carbonara for yeah. dinner, carbonara shower yeah. gel. You know, there's yeah. fucking yeah. everywhere. Yeah. But I mean, like, I like carbonara. Ellis gets my pain, though, because we both have psoriasis. Mm-hmm. You know, and so that inflammation also contributes to that. And like, I, you know, I washed my hair today and it was so close to another time that I've just washed it. And I shit you not, I look like a fucking snow globe. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's part of the reason why I struggle so much with going on camera. And I think you've had it recently too, Alice, haven't you? Yeah. Um, uh, luckily, the worst of it is hidden. I don't think you can really see it. I mean, you can see a bit of red. Oh yeah. Up there. Oh, like like mm-hmm. barely. Most of it is higher up in my yeah. in my scalp. So mm-hmm. and the worst of it is hidden by my by my hair. But yeah, sometimes like you just look at your shoulders and it's like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going on camera today. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I look like fucking Frosty the Snowman. It's not. Weather good. outside yeah. is. Yeah, frosty. exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shaky, shaky, shakes of rices. Yeah. Yeah. Like, lie on, what it's like. If it's real bad, I'm lying on Kath's lap, but I sort of roll over and look at her legs and like, sorry, Kath, it's been snowing again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's oh. Okay. Oh. Bless you. I mean, you do the same thing though, don't you, Jake? It's just like. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind it at all, to be honest. Like, I know it's not like you can help it. Like, yeah. no. Um, it's I think just one of those things, you know. It's annoying as well because obviously being being a whammon, mm. being a lady, I've got long hair. And so when the psoriasis starts to come off, it gets stuck in the mm-hmm. lengths of the hair. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like if your hair's shorter, there's less hair to get yes, yeah. that stuck is true. in. Yeah. So um I remember when we went to the YouTube event and I hadn't been able to wash my hair in time. I ended up like having to ask Ellis because he's the one person who understands the struggle and sees the psoriasis when it comes out. I was like, if you see a bit that's particularly bad, just fucking cue, just just let me know it. Like <laughs> I'll get it out because <laughs> like you don't have the eye for it, Jay. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking struggle, man. If I if I could wave a magic wand, mm. I would just cure all chronic illnesses. Yeah, That'd they're be pretty wonderful. shit, aren't they? Thank you, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell us about yeah. your chronic illnesses in the comments. Um. 
<laughs> I think you most depressing IBS? comment section yeah. in the yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, nailed it. I yeah. think uh, it's it just adds misery to people's lives. I think more recently, I think people are, do develop more chronic illnesses due to the westernized modern diet, etc. I think that's the the scientific mm. rhetoric that I've heard. I might, uh, 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 citation I might be, maybe needed. Yeah, but yeah. definitely citation needed. Um, <laughs> but Honestly, think, it wouldn't surprise me more that just because people are now willing to talk about it. Yeah, that's also another point as well. Maybe mm. maybe it's just uh, quite a private thing because I know people uh, people's people's histamine levels in their in their bodies now have been the highest that they've ever been. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But that's, is yeah, that is that whatnot, isn't it? Is that because of we're now monitoring it way better, or is that? actually true and it's actually something which is like yeah. that we didn't have enough that we didn't have around in society like a hundred years ago for Valid example point. you know we, we don't never know but yeah i think um yeah, a lot of mine is due we think to like a <clears throat> genetic mutation mm. so yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think i don't think there's a there's a question of think kath <laughs> you have you have a backwards ear canal like that's a mutation in and of itself both of them are backwards yeah um, so i had loads of grommets and stuff as a kid to try and open them up it, uh in hindsight grommets are actually in, I think something like citation needed but I think at like an 80% of people who had grommets as a child it's actually made their hearing worse as an adult Oh, um, oh, you're talking about ears. When yeah. Ellis said you've got a backwards canal, I fully thought you meant like, woohoo. No, it's an ear canal. <laughs> ear, backwards ear canal. A backwards oh, canal. My bad. How would that even work? Her ilium no. is in the wrong place, though, so, Not, you know, that's oh, always fun. What are you talking about? I thought he meant... Per a per oh, oh a the front per button. Per mm. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, like, those are, those are backwards. Um, my aorta in my heart was all gammy, so, like, I wasn't getting circulation to the bottom half of my body. Hmm. Um, You're basically blind. Um, I have a uterus that's split in half. Ilium's in the wrong place. My ilium is in the wrong place, which is the bit that connects your large intestine to your small intestine. So I've got, like, oh. a weird gap in the bottom. What else have I got? Dyslexia, dyspraxia, dyscalculia, hideous Quest depression. Hideous depression, questioned ADHD, mm -hmm. uh, ASD stuff. Terrible have, emotional regulation. Yeah, borderline personality disorder or emotionally unregulated personal personality and emotionally unstable personality disorder i think is mm. what it's now called mm. Mm. um but yeah and i'm in menopause and i have been since i was 22 and i am now 32 almost and if that's not a yeah. genetic cock up i don't know what is <laughs> yeah, i've got yeah. questions that's <laughs> got it all of that is well no all of that is fairly shit but you think somewhere along the way you would have become like an x-man with some kind of superpower do you know what i mean i know right like <laughs> so it, it, it does my fucking head and i'm like why do i have to have all the negative ones why yeah. can't i develop like flight or invisibility i'll have like webbed toes and be able to swim super speed do you know what i mean like, yeah. instead i can shit myself for four days <laughs> yeah, yeah that's well, my superpower. I, will, I will counter that with she does have a crack in pair of tits <laughs> <laughs> so genetically, our right. superpower was stonking titties. Yeah, and 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 hips for fucking days. Right. Okay. And those so hips don't actually, a, a, congrats. Um, so Her when, hips are enormous. When when you're in menopause, um, obviously you're at risk of things like osteoporosis. So osteoporosis mm -hmm. is basically where your bones start to degrade. If you didn't yeah. know, that's where you get the hunchy, hunched, hunched over people. People like hunch up, and it happens a lot more with like older people but obviously because i'm already menopausal i'm already at a risk of it because basically mm -hmm. when you're a woman your estrogen helps your bone density mm -hmm. my body doesn't yeah. produce estrogen therefore my bone density is a bit there yeah um so i take calcium and different supplements and stuff to try and prevent the onset of osteoporosis yeah so yeah. i had a bone density scan a few years ago they said that my markers for my spine was below average but mm -hmm. my hip markers were way above average and they were just like yeah your hips are like they're, they're absolutely fine She's you're gonna like worry the about top them 10 of the country in bone density for her hips really they well were like, for the fact that <laughs> right. you know, your hips are supposed to be like one of the first things that start going yeah. with osteoporosis they were like you don't need to worry about yeah. it you're good her hips <laughs> are, could... it, they are her, her, her is pelvic bone is, is her pelvic bone i think is just absolutely enormous it's but that's almost like it's your hips are purely absorbing all of the calcium you're putting in. <laughs> yeah, yeah the rest genuinely. of your body's not getting it. It's <laughs> like, like a yeah, the rest of my body doesn't get any. My hips, they're sorted. Yeah. Hips for days, son. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. I, I, li literally, like I, I can, I can obviously you know, grab on. I can feel her, 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 the edges of her pelvic bone, mm -hmm. and it's it's quite literally like a, a hand, my hand grip worth. And bear in mind, I'm six foot two, six foot three, and everything's in proportion. So yeah, that's a 
Oh, I need to put on my dicks in proportion. Everything's in proportion. Oh, I'll trust 192 centimeters for people who work in the king's measurements. There we go. Got there. Did you say the king's measurements? Well, would the king's measurements be like imperial? That's imperial, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, fine. I think it is. Oh, that's dumb. Uh, yeah, the, the <laughs> chronic <laughs> stuff is just, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, it's it also bullshit. makes it diffi difficult because obviously you're going through menopause and stuff like that. So it makes it really hard when sometimes like you get the comments and things like that. I mean, polycystic ovaries as well, massive for fertility issues when people are saying, are you going to have kids? And yeah. it's like, I don't, that's a lot to ask someone. And I appreciate it's yeah. coming from a place of kindness, but like, mm. There's just so much going on. It's such on. a loaded question. Yeah. You should never ask. Yeah. PSA, never ask anyone when they're going to have yeah, kids. Yeah, I was about to say, le here's a lesson, lesson yeah. kids. <laughs> Don't ask people if they're going to have children because yeah. you never know the reason why they are or aren't. So mm -hmm. just don't ask. They'll like, share if they want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you'd have asked me, if you asked me that question now, I'll pretty much be like, no, I can't have them. I'm in menopause. Mm -hmm. And that stops anyone from really asking any further questions. And I'll probably add, please don't ask people this sort of question because you could get- Educational. A, yeah, mm. you yeah. could get a lot more of a emotional response. So people mm -hmm. could be really upset, really angry. It could cause a lot of like inner, disturbance and turmoil for them just don't ask them but like if you'd asked me this question sort of like 10 years ago when i first found out mm -hmm. i'd have just burst into tears and probably shouted at you mm -hmm. yeah yeah like i've become a lot more used to the fact that i can't have children that my body is railing against yeah. me all the time there's a like, process of acceptance yeah that... like don't get me wrong it still upsets me sometimes like i'll yeah. see my friends having children and stuff or they'll be like oh i'm pregnant again and like yeah i'm really happy for you don't get me wrong but like there is a little part of me that's like 100%. What it would be like? There, there is until yeah. you get the phone call from your f said friend after they haven't slept for uh, like <laughs> four days. 24 four days. hours. <laughs> and like, their little shit is, is raging in the background. <laughs> and I, lo I look at your face and I can see the relief wash over you. That you're <laughs> never going to have to deal with this. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's interesting though as well because I think I heard a statistic the other day. It's not just um, with women men also contribute to about 50% of cases of infertility. Mm. Oh, right. Which is like, it's a direct mm. kind of tend to be like down yep. the middle split, mm. which is, you know, it's surprising. A lot of people fire blanks. Yeah. yeah. And it also probably wasn't contributed to in our generation with a lot of lads wearing skinny jeans and absolutely strangling the <laughs> shit out of their nuts. You know what yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. that didn't help. True. Who would Just do that? fucking <laughs> ugh, suffocate them, you know? I think do it's not those balls. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw a lad wearing skinny jeans, I was like, what the yeah. fuck is that? Because it's the first time I'd seen a bulge. Like, <laughs> the fuck is that? There was like a real underground scene in New Zealand, like uh, like 2005 to 2009, maybe. Mm. And there was, just, there was just like, suddenly emo kids were just fucking everywhere. Like there was, say, there was, yeah. was so many. It was exactly the same here. Yeah, exactly the same here. Drain pipe leggings, like just yeah. skinny yeah. dudes, like, yeah. uh, and ladies, obviously. At the skate just park. Vans yeah. with the checkered, like mm -hmm. yeah. black and white oh, things. And you my used to get romance, like, like Tees with the arms cut off, like, yes. like this. That was, Kath. That, was Kath. that was literally Kath. <laughs> yeah, the check. I'll see if I can try and find a picture of me when I was younger. Oh, thumb rings. Thumb rings. <laughs> I used to wear thumb, thumb rings. rings. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. still would wear thumb rings actually if like fucking rings didn't get caught and shit but no with the checkered <laughs> the checkered vans yeah i don't know if this was the same in new zealand as it was in the rest of the uk but people used to get the black and white ones they would get pink permanent markers yeah. and yeah. they would yeah. color in yeah. the the oh. checkers or they'd yeah. use highlighters yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just to yeah. like color code it suddenly uh, emo colored was like laces colored laces oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was oh, the only yeah. bit of that oh. that i got into was get, getting colored laces i had rainbow colored right uh I, see, I had I had a pair of like faded red and black check airwalks. Yeah. And I found red and uh, like red and bl like dark red and black laces to then go with it. So I mixed oh. it all up. Do you know what? I, I have this vivid memory. So I used to be like a borderline scene emo kid. Mm. Um, so badly though. I, it was not a good one. I looked like shit, right? I, I just. <laughs> so, you want to see looking so... like shit? Check that out. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Yes, Cab. <laughs> Don't describe it for the audio listeners. There so, well, basically, exactly <laughs> what on, we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, literally, yeah, literally just the epitome oh, yeah. of emo the kid with even with even the grumpy face as well. Yeah, I fucking forgot about the like the Afghan um, scarves yeah. as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had I had so many of those. I love them. And yeah. then I, had, I had like long, um, 
like uh like long glove like long fingerless gloves that went all the way up to oh my yeah i used to have uh, a yeah. shower <laughs> really? what? yeah i had some of that really have you got pictures of that somewhere wanna, I, i've got one i've got one from from jake oh yeah you do this is from 2010 Oh, oh yeah, look at him! That's what I used to look like. Look at you. That was, that wow. was, De that was December 2010. Yeah, that, exactly. That, that was probably yeah. around the, f uh, the first time we started well, hanging that's out. That's you in the background, Ellis. Yep. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> look at that fringe! The camo jacket! Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's your ex-girlfriend, isn't it? Yeah, that is, yeah. We better right. blur her face. I'll blur that yeah, out, yeah. Just <laughs> blur, yeah. <laughs> your hairline hasn't changed that much since then, actually. And no, it's yeah, like the yeah. same. It's pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's not bad at all. So I, this, mine is not out and about picture. Mine is, this is an old Facebook picture. I used to have a rainbow caftan and I had like the edgiest look in my fucking face ever hold on is that <laughs> yes oh, yeah. wow. go on bitch oh, yeah. Yeah. that's nice yeah. yeah so it was just the like uh, i'm suffering that, internally honestly <laughs> that that breath just says says everything really just the yep well the rainbow <sighs> oh. yeah the rainbow caftan and i would wear it with like um army boots and this was the thing i used to have a friend who lived in canada they did not have hot topic in new zealand and so they would send me over like the the rainbow laces and <laughs> all of that kind of shit oh my god i just found like a really old photo of me hang on <laughs> <laughs> I look like something with fucking Geordie Shaw. Oh my so god, you do look at that! Oh, look at that! Yes. Wow. Why does your head look like eight times the size of your body in that photo? Yeah. You it somehow is. look older than what you are now. I know. Yeah. Uh, either way, yeah, those were the days with uh, Hot Topic that I couldn't access but really wanted it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel going, that. Oh, it would always be going to the skate park and all the guys would be skateboarding trying to impress the chicks, but the chicks would be sitting on the side and like Groups just looking at the guys. I mean, like, gaggles, oh, so literal <laughs> fucking gaggles of girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everyone dated everyone, and it was super incestuous. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Right, speaking of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna, Speaking I'm gonna, of incest. No, no, not, not, not the incest, just the, uh, the... What a segue, I can't wait to hear what this is gonna end up as. Not, not, the, not the incest part, this of everyone shagging everyone, everyone else. I wanna go, I wanna move on to the, the, the Reddit post that I found that, that someone put on. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, because yeah, yeah. it's one of my favorite things I've read in a long, long time. Maybe okay, burst go. out laughing. This All is right, our so new uh, item. Helping people out from, with their bullshit problems. Yeah, yeah. So, so, it's a, yeah. so it's a, would you, it's, it, they, they, they've, Premise it as a would you rather, but it's more of just a. I guess there's a bit of a bit of a question at the end. So anyway, here, here's the, here's the story. I got my first job just weeks ago, and my workmates invited me to go out to their outing, budgeted by the company. Of course, I had to go along with them. Fast forward to yesterday, a few guys were inviting me to go water wrestling in the swimming pool, and insisted that I sit on their shoulders to play against the team. The main <laughs> problem is that I got a boner courtesy of having a physical attraction to guys, and it's definitely not going to go down anytime soon. Obviously, I didn't want them to know that I have one, so I intentionally kept my crotch away from the backs of their heads, and in turn, <laughs> I don't have proper balance, which is already crap given in daily life, I'm also fat and kept falling into the water. Even oh, so, I still had fun if the game with, me with, with many retries uh, and only lasted a few seconds. TLDR, would you rather press your <laughs> raging boner on your colleagues' heads to maintain your balance and win the game or sabotage the game to save your dignity? Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. First um, of all, like... Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to take some balls. Uh, yeah. And some well, boners. That, yeah. Yeah. And some boners, <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Okay, first of all, my question is, in what world are we going to work dues where <laughs> we're sitting on each other's shoulders in swimming pools? Yeah. Swimming, swimming pools. Are you going, are you going with Alex, are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have fucking PTSD from last week. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> swimming pools. Um... Yeah, like that's that's wild. I think also this is part of me that's thinking about the logistics of this because like I'm a bigger lady. I've got I've got junk in the trunk. And if anyone asked me to climb on their shoulders, I just wouldn't. I'd be like, nah. At the pool, I would be like, first of all, I can't. Like <laughs> I probably if I forced myself to. 
But then if that happened and I also was uncomfortable enough by popping a boner, I would 100% do what you would have done. <laughs> Just fall into yeah. the pool. Oh no, I've fallen and, again. Yeah. 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 And you now have become- Slapping erection hits the water. <laughs> 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 Did your like belly a flop? fucking whale yeah. breaching and coming back down again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you now have to become yeah. uh, a merman yeah. and yeah, you need exactly. to live under the water forever. I, I, I would say they might not take it uh, kindly, and then you've got then got to work with them afterwards. So yeah. probably best throw the match and save face. Mm. I would have thrown the yeah. match anyway, whether or not I was popping a boner, because I would not want to be on my work colleague's shoulders. So I no. would just like <laughs> attempt to get up and then unbalance and fall off, and just keep doing that over and over again until they yeah. realise that I'm also, useless. Also I have no like, balance, and they go. <laughs> It sounds like it's supposed to be a team building exercise. And at some point, someone in that organization thought, water wrestling. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Like, that'll do it. Make it in the Let's, pool. That's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> it's Maybe they're choice. also into dudes too, and it was their plan. You know? Oh, I see. Like, yeah. True. You're like a work romance. Maybe they're like, yeah. I hope someone gets a boner on, them, on their shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> well, or you could have tactfully offered to lift them. Oh. Mm. You know, mm. you could have been like, ooh. Let's swap. Yeah, you know <laughs> that's a good show. Like, because yeah. if you have that additional, um, I mean, like I know personally that I've got like more that I'm moving in the water, so I've got extra stability because of the extra chunk that I've got going on. So usually when we're in the pool, it's actually me carrying Jake on my back. <laughs> <laughs> You're, and then he pops a boner that. and it's yeah. just all like, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. swimming pool related uh, talk over the past couple of weeks isn't there well that's mm. courtesy yeah. of Alex pissing in the pool yeah, yeah exactly oh, God, God, if, he, if he was just on your shoulders you just know that he would just piss on your oh, shoulders God, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, everyone does it oh, that's <laughs> so yeah. horrible everyone pisses on everyone's shoulders everyone gets a boner in the pool and he's on his shoulders brother pisses on the back of your head everyone does it that's what he would say do you know what is interesting in Alex's case is that when he gets a girlfriend in the future she will have access to like oh, years oh, of archives of shit that he <laughs> said yeah. you know yeah. um, yep. we should just make a compilation of entitle it for oh Alex's future God, girlfriend yes. of yeah. all the oh, horror God. shit yeah. he's yeah. Yeah. Imagine. please God. that'd be so good extra video <laughs> oh my yeah. God. If, if he ever gets married and we're yeah. still together and going we are yeah. making this video and we are yeah. getting it in that wedding in one way shape or form 100% <laughs> <100%. laughs> 100%. It's gotta it be. be rude not to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to. Or we, do you know what we should do? We should make a dating video. <laughs> if you're oh, interested in this oh, man. Oh my God, yes. I think we Don't. should have a WP takeover of like Alex's dating profiles and try to find him a... <laughs> Try to find him a girlfriend. Do that. <laughs> do that. That'd be great because they won't know that they're, they're. Well, they're not going to be famous, obviously. We're not yeah, that, yeah. That, that big, but like content. you know, it's be pretty really funny content. Content, <laughs> like evil. content. content equals money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and ruin your yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Speaking of weird things and content, you went to the mm. opera. Oh yeah, I did. We did go to the opera. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> why? What? Right. What? So prompted that. Yeah. <laughs> Our friend who's here at the moment. Oh, she just wanted to go see Bath and a bit, and like I think once you go, once you live in a city, you don't really tend to like go and do the things there because you've lived there. Honestly, it was fucking cool. It was really good. It was insane, and like it was just watching them from a technique point of view was singing as well was was crazy. Um, but I just okay. Can we, as a side way of talking about this, the whole opera stuff, can we just mention audiences? Yes. yes. They are I, the fucking worst. I want to address mm -hmm. everyone yep. who goes to see anything. There's been multiple events like that I've gone to where people, and I mentioned this in the stream the other day, people just fucking talk through shit. Yes. Yeah. So oh. annoying. What it's are you so doing? so frustrating. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so oh, when we went God. to the opera, you know, they're singing away, they're like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, and they're singing and then behind us there's like me Tess is to my left Jake is to my right there's an old man sitting behind me and Tess and <laughs> he's kind of moaning slash singing along to the opera oh. so he's sitting there and he's oh. like oh, oh, no the worst <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like oh. what are you doing <laughs> 
I mean, also to the right, there's like, uh, I think it was like a daughter and a, and a mother, like yeah. having a conversation during the fucking opera, where it's like, yeah, it was like, it's really quiet. And like the thing about opera is like, it's not as loud as you think it is. Like some yeah. bits are loud, but when it's very delicate, it like, you could s still hear like a pin drop silence if you sat yeah. quite far back. So we could hear these people fucking whispering next to us. Yeah. I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I just, I just like, slapped a bitch. If you're at a oh, rock man. pop concert, Glastonbury, yeah, that's fine. different. But if you go to the opera and you're just like, yeah, so anyway, I just want to have dinner with Steve. It was had, like, lovely. A, Meanwhile, there's some lady being like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like you're going to have a bad time. That sounds like a different outing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, we had the same thing when we went to see that comedy night in Bath as oh, well. Do you remember? And I yes. like, I actually, I, I was so fucked off at these people talking. Um, I got out of my seat, walked along to their seat, and I was like, hi guys. Uh, I don't know if you realize, but literally everyone on this top balcony can hear you talking and you're ruining the show for everyone. So if you can please take your conversation outside or shut up and enjoy the show, that'd be great. Thank you. And then yes. I went back to my seat. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Daddy. And they didn't say anything for that. I shut them the fuck up. And it was so annoying. <laughs> That's what you fucking do. <laughs> this this Geordie bloke, I forgot what his name was. I probably give him a shout out. He's really, really funny, but he's quite softly spoken. So like if there was someone having a conversation like uh, like three or four seats over, like they would uh they drag you, them out. You, I, like my brain is like half in their conversation half on this really funny thing yeah. i want it to be all on their funny thing mm. yeah and the funny the thing is people have paid like like 20 yeah. 30 quid a ticket to go and yeah. see this they've spent mm -hmm. 60 yep. pounds on an yep. event between yep. Jake, them to, have to a conversation. not go and watch the thing that yep, they there, money there for. are it's people bonkers who will pay hundreds of pounds to go to a concert and watch it through the back of their phone yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, just just live wrong. in the uh, moment, guys. Seriously. Yeah. Just, just on, fucking... on that point, Alice, oh. we went to um Harry Styles the <laughs> other uh, week. Yeah, yeah. And like in Wembley, and there was like fifty thousand odd people there. And as he was like coming closer up the stage, it was like that all of a sudden just like a sea of phones came up and you couldn't even see him anymore. Mm. It was just oh. like everyone's phones went up. And like so I, I'll admit I took some videos, but like like once or twice and they're like, Cool, put it away now and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the the music yeah but this was like it was like a seat of phones yeah and it was like i can't see and it's just and you, yeah i'm just watching the concert through their phones because i yeah. can't I've, see i've had to do that quite a few times <laughs> just watch watch what's going on on stage through someone's mm. phone that's so <laughs> annoying oh it's so annoying it infuriates me then when you're on like you know you remember back at the you remember let's say you are one of those people that has the phone and you're like, mm. oh, Harry Styles was good. I really enjoyed watching that on my mm. phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could just go on YouTube and watch it on your phone yeah. and get like a pro camera angle or pro yeah. sound and stuff. Yeah. Like, just put your fucking phones down. Stop talking during sensitive performances. Yeah. Enjoy the thing that you went You're probably never going to look see. at that footage again. Like, I know. Yeah, no. When you ever like, oh, go and check out that, yeah. the video for the crap audio. <laughs> like, <laughs> like people who <laughs> record. <laughs> Which is all you're yeah. actually going to hear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like people who record called um, fireworks. Yeah. It's like, oh, why? Why? <laughs> why? Well, like, What's the point? No one watches yeah. that shit back. No, 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 no. Oh. People do. But unless you have the, the like, 50,000 pound, yeah. like, Sony <laughs> 8K fucking, like, professional camera with, like, a macro fucking lens mm -hmm. the size of, like, a small yeah. planet attached to it. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. not going to bloom out every single time a moat mm -hmm. of light appears at the night sky. That is fucking pointless. All you get to see yeah. is... <laughs> in the microphone, and then everything goes bright, and then that's it. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, that's so, so true. stupid. So, yeah, uh, PSA to everyone out there. Um, if you Don't see be people, fucking dumb. Yeah, and if, you, if you do hear someone talking in a performance or something they've been to, and you're, and you're put off because they're talking, don't be afraid to go over there and just yeah. tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah. But obviously mm -hmm. do it nicely. And yeah. Say to them, do, then Jake from WPA told me to, sh told me to tell you yeah, to shut the shut fuck the up. Shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. it ruins it. Also, go to the opera. Yeah, go go do something different which you haven't done because the yeah. opera was like seriously really good. It was really good. It's not one of the things I would have normally gone to have seen, no. but just the the experience itself was really cool. Yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. I've been quite a bit. Have you? Oh, cool. Mm. I'm, not yeah. a fan of, I'm not a fan of music, so I, I don't. I tend to go to that sort of thing on my own. So I'll go to like oh. musicals or um, like plays and stuff like that. And I'll just oh, come sweet. in. Oh, yeah, bitch oh, face awesome. over there hates it. <laughs> you make Condiment it sound like I'm the fu like a fucking uncultured swine. No, I don't hate it. I just don't like the stuff you're watching. Oh. I have no interest in watching a Gil Neil Gaiman play, and I have no interest in listening to your musicals. I don't like them. <laughs> Condiments in the fridge, the musical. <laughs> well, if you wanted to go, and, if you, you might watch go, that. If you wanted to go and see Karloff's Carmina Burana, then I'd probably go and join you because it's an awesome piece of music. Or like. 
uh, Symphony playing Holst's Planet Suite. Oh, that would be I'd go amazing. and watch that. I'd love that. Uh, my, my, my old, my old favourite thing to do, with, which I used to do with my mum quite regularly, was we'd go to uh, Birmingham Symphony, Symphony Hall, we used to host a uh, silent film night, oh, where yeah. they do the old silent films like um, all the slapstick comedies by like Charlie Chaplin and mm. uh, Buster Keaton. But then they have mm. the symphony orchestra would play the score live like they used to back in the day in the oh, 1910s, wow. 1910s, 1920s cinema. And That's it's really fucking cool. brilliant. That's I'd do cool. that again in a heartbeat. I really want to go see Hamilton. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's um, so on good. Tour now. I oh, will be next year. I, okay, I haven't seen it. I want to see Hamilton and I want to see Phantom of the Opera because I haven't seen it live. I would um, go, go with you to both of those. Both so very good. So let me know good. when you want to do okay. it. I'd go too. I'd join. <laughs> Should we do a WP day yeah. to the... I, I, WP I, 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 I cultural review of the... Of the, of the <laughs> no, come on, Ellis. No. WP, we can I, do I, it I, and then club. talk about I, it. I do not like either of them. I don't like Hamilton's <laughs> music and I don't like um, the bloke who wrote it. Uh, I, like Lloyd 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 I hate his music. Because I, I can just tell instantly it's one of his pieces of music. I know instantaneously. <laughs> I know exactly what it's going to do when it's going to do the <laughs> bits that he has in every single one of his songs. So it just drives me up the wall. So every single one of his songs has that that exact melody line in no, it? Of course, no, of course it doesn't. Again, For those that couldn't but... see what Ellis was doing then, as he was doing that weird oh, vocal it. thing that he just did, he was basically bouncing up and down like a crab and pinching his hands. It's literally... Right. Just, uh, <laughs> I don't... His, uh, his music drives me insane. Shall we uh, do the meme comments? I, I think, think so. Yes. I think it's time. There are some juicy ones this week. We're yeah. just yeah. going to put that out couple there. Of good ones. There are some like... You could sink your teeth into it and it would just... <laughs> like, the juice would spill out. Yeah. Yeah. Shall, shall I read this one out? Yeah, go for it. As a gay guy, I have this intense urge to be in Kath's friend zone because I know we'd have the best laughs but then also have the desire to show Ellis how cute and breedable I am. Ooh, woo. Uh, <laughs> how, uh, oh, Ellis, how does that make you feel? <laughs> the cringe is, like, uh, uh, how do I explain this? You know when, you know when it's really cold? Yeah. And your balls like, zoop up inwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. I can feel Which, them just going, for clarification. And everything just like recoiling and, Blah. For oh, clarification God. here, it's in reference to the word breedable. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it's got nothing ah. to do with the sexuality. Just before no. anyone kicks off in no. the comments, it's no. the fucking that's that breedable. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's the no, it's the oh. cute and breedable. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> God! Oh, it's like, cringe. Well because done. the thing is, is like, imagine if I like came <laughs> to you, Jake, and I was like, "You're really breedable." Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, breed me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah. So uh, thank you. Uh, what are you like a horse? Are yeah. you like a prize horse? <laughs> so thank you there for uh, taking that to the next yeah. level of cringe. You have succeeded <laughs> yeah. uh, massively. Well done. There's also another really funny one which I like about. Uh, I'll, I'll just read it. So so the other one, the one, the other one for this week oh. was uh, I'll be calling Jonk's hairline Dunkirk for its impressive retreat. Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's so good. Oh That's so god, good. genius! I insult. laughed yeah. so hard when I saw that. that. Great. That is great. Thank you very so much. Mean. <laughs> Poor People Jay. are getting better and better with these uh, hair roasts, I know. forehead roasts. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, come on. Let's come on. It's every you... week. Okay, you are very shiny at the moment, though. Just looking Thank at it. Thank you. I'm a yeah. shiny bastard. Um, so uh, there, there are two. There are two more in the document as well. I think Gabby should read the bottom one of the, of the two in the document. Oh, the one about me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's sort of quite a quick tradition by now that we have one that's roasting Gabby red by herself. <laughs> I think Typical, that should be the, isn't it? That should be the thing. If you get roasted, you have to read it yourself. You read it yourself, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll take, I'll, that's why I'm going to take the one above. Gabby used to be my favourite when I imagined she was like a tall librarian or high school teacher. Maybe both. I don't know. Now that I know she's just a ravenous sex fiend craving the jonk, <laughs> I like Nick more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Gotta go for the other kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you're not wrong. Ravenous yeah. sex fiend craving yeah. the jonk. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this, this, this next one, it has some weird connotations, I think is why it's in here. Who in WP do you want as your father slash mother? I want Ellis because I can take his daily birthday presents. 
now. But I'm oh, not God. really sure what the daily birthday present uh, is. I I want to say know. Yeah, you, but, you know. But you my know. brain is going towards that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's so weird. I know. Oh, People just <laughs> wanting to be your, their, your daily dub. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh God. That's your job. Right, us. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Thank you. If you had to pick someone else in WPE to be be your parent. To be my parent? Oh, like... Can I be an orphan? And you... I was thinking be... the same thing. What, what did they say? Can, can I, I be an orphan? orphan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's so good. Uh, right. Well, that's the uh, that's the end of the podcast. Thank you all for listening, stroke watching. Uh, this is uh, going to be available on all podcasting platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, etc., etc. If you want to see our ugly mugs, go to YouTube. Uh, worst pre-made ever. Po- <laughs> uh, worst pre-made ever podcast. Uh, <laughs> We're on there. Nick actually does a great job editing it, so yay. Thank you, Nick. Thanks for guesting, Nick. Yeah, thanks thanks for guesting and taking uh, Alex's place. You are a much better person. You should be in here more often. Thank you. Um, (laughs) uh, Fuck you, Alex. It's working already. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, I think that's going to be it. And can I just say that sign-off had big righty-ho energy? (laughs) You wanted fucking energy? Like, what did you expect? You're going to get righty-ho. Also, uh, I'm just going to interject. That probably should have gone at the start because, like, because if, if they're listening to it on all major podcasting platforms, they probably already listened to the entirety of the thing yeah. before they listen to it now. Well, <laughs> fuck you. I didn't know how to end it. So, you know what? You know what? Fuck all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. And with that, see you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, thumbnail images. Just... Who's going to go with those? We should pro- we, we could, it might be worth having Nick in it as well. Oh, the thumbnail? Yeah. Maybe do the little floating floating face. Oh, the, the Teletubby oh, yeah. son? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on, do that. What, uh, what uh, face we, does we he could, pull? We could do that as like the, ge- the guest like... section. So every time we have a guest, there's going to be the the, the, the son. The floating face. With, with, uh, with whoever's face is in it. Okay, I like that. Cool. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's like a... M- move your mic down a bit <laughs> so you can get a clean shot. There you go. Try it again. <laughs> 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 yes! Because you've got your glasses as well. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs>